Hey there guys and welcome to another What's New in the Den and the reason why I'm holding Leroy Jenkins here, say hello Leroy, is a lot of times people say what's going on in the bathroom? You got ghosts or gremlins? No, Leroy always likes to come in when I'm doing uh, videos and he rumbles around the floor so I'm going to put him down now and I just want to let you know that before you start hearing the noises. It's going to be a very special What's New in the Den today and Leroy likes it too. Stand by. All right, so today I've got two products that I'm very, very excited about. First is Shaver Heaven Soaps. Uh, our good friend from Australia, Anthony Macri, uh, just sent a shipment of these soaps to Phoenix, and I got a couple of them from Phoenix. And this one is Hubba Bubba. And the scent on it is just like sort of a strong old bazooka bubblegum, if you remember that. One of the great things about these soaps is you don't go, have to go looking for a scent. The scent is very uh, pronounced, which I really like. Now, I'm not going to lather this one today. I'm actually going to lather another that's uh, blooming, but this smells exactly like old bazooka gum, but it's a little stout in strength, which I like, so I'm looking forward to using this. Now, I'm going to lather this Shaver Heaven soap with a brush that I'm very proud to have received, Wolf Whiskers. Um, Peter Wolf is a great, great guy and a great brush maker, uh, made a Plasson brush for me, or actually he, uh, turned the handle, which is absolutely beautiful and put a Plasson knot, uh, in it for me. He was reluctant to do this for some time. Now I never asked him, but he had just, I'd seen him post where people would ask and he'd refuse and finally he broke down and did it. And now there's a huge influx of people um, wanting these plasons, and he had a big group order. So right now, Peter's not taking orders for these. He will maybe again in around March, but man, I got to tell you, this is a beautiful brush. Thank you, Peter. Um, I I'm just so proud to own it. Uh, it it's just wonderful. And you know, I love my Rudy Vey Plasson. Um, I always wanted a pa Pav Plasson, but he doesn't do customs anymore, so maybe I'll never get one of those. But Peter uh, Wolf and Rudy Vey can take care of you. They do excellent, excellent work. And there's another guy I'm watching, Nathan Clark. Uh, let me go ahead and before I get into Nathan Clark, I'm going to wet my brush. I've just had this uh, blooming a bit. And this soap here, by the way, another shaver heaven is uh, Coconut Citrus Sorbet. And this sort of reminds me of a pina colada, pina colada with um, like a... Um, Citrus sorbet, really, because you really get a lot of coconut, but you also get the citrus um, as well. And so, and then again, the scent, the uh, scent strength is nice and robust, which I really like. But on to Nathan Clark. I've been watching uh, Nathan Clark's work, and I see some nice stuff coming out of there. But I'm still looking for sort of a signature look. And from what I'm told, Nathan, every turning he does, he wants to be different. And, the thing that I like about Wolf Whiskers and Rudy Vey and Pavs what were, you could always recognize those brushes because they have sort of signature looks. And Nathan's are, one can be dramatically different from the next. So I'm waiting until I see something that really strikes my fancy and I'll see if I can get uh, Nathan to do a brush for me. So far, I do see so many different things. I, I don't see a signature look. So if I see one, I'll approach Nathan, but he does. Uh, do good work that many people uh, enjoy. And so he's another guy you can check out. All right, enough about Nathan. Well, this soap, uh, it smells great. Now I will say, this is not um, a natural smelling uh, coconut. This smells sort of artificial, but I still like it. So it's not its not gonna be like some of the other coconuts you've ex experienced, but I think in a good way for me. I'm gonna wet my face and we're gonna lather this up. I am expecting good things. Uh, from this soap. I know that Anthony has uh, talked about his formulas with, I think, Douglas and Chris Cullen. And, you know, the soap makers, the artisan soap makers, help one, one another out a lot. And I want to like uh, this soap because Anthony's a great guy, but I'm going to be honest with you. If I don't like it, I'm going to say so. But so far, I got to tell you, the scent is very pronounced. And that's just, that's really, really a good thing for me. So um, it's feeling good on my face. I'm not having any trouble lathering it. Um, mm. Oh, it smells great. 
Just like a pina colada, I would say. Pina colada plus. Oh, yeah. Wow, great lather. Um, let me rinse my face and give it one more go just to see if I get any inner, uh, irritation, excuse me, if I'm sensitive to anything. Stand by. All right, so we've rinsed our face. Let's give this uh, another go. Um, it's income tax time here in the United States, and many of us who overpay get a refund. So I've got a lot of new stuff coming in. Um, put some money back, spent some, booked my flight to Chicago for the June meet. So you guys... Uh, if you can make that, that'll be wonderful. I'm calling you out, Khan, Shave the Man, Douglas Smythe, and others. June 6th, the weekend of, should be a great time. Um, anyway, a lot of new products coming in. Um, do a lot of videos, and I already know some guy. Bah, 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 bah. He makes too many. Bah, 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 bah. Yep, 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 yep. He makes too many vigor. He don't have any life. Pfft. Who cares? I'm going to keep doing it. So, it is what it is. And I'm going to keep enjoying it, too. So, that's what I say to everybody. Enjoy your experience uh, when you're shaving and making videos the way you see fit. As long as you're not being nasty and hurting other people or talking behind people's back, always enjoy it the way you want to. There's no rules in how that um, happens apart from just trying to be a decent fellow. All right. Second lathering. Very, very nice. No burning, stinging. Oh yeah, feels nice and slick. Um, I don't anticipate any performance problems. Let's pull the lather here out of the brush and see what we have. Beautiful brush, by the way, by Wolf Whiskers. Whiskers of the God. Oh man, yeah, this feels great. Um, nice and slick cushion. So Anthony, good on you, brother. Um, I was hoping to like this, and fortunately I do. Um, man. You know, Anthony's a newer soap maker, so once again, an artisan hitting the mark, and, and a new artisan at that. So, man, I tell you, I'm loving this stuff. I'm going to definitely be buying more. And you guys in Australia, support Anthony. Uh, it's important for him to get this business off the ground. And maybe it'll spurn off some other artisans in, in Australia, and so you, our brothers there can have... Uh, you know, a lot of choices, but as for now, seems like you got an excellent artisan there. This feels great. No problems at all. Congrat congratulations, Anthony. I really, I'm, I'm really happy for you, and uh, this is just great. And so, looking forward to trying more of these. All right, guys. You guys have a great day and great shaves.